What's up, everybody? It is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022, and it's time for this week's Two Minutes with Jeff. So a lot has happened since our last video a couple weeks ago. We had new inflation numbers come out, and they actually were higher than what was expected um, than what was projected by the experts. But the stock market actually reacted positively to this to this information and we've seen actually the last two weeks a uh, pretty strong pretty strong bull run in the in the market so that's kind of good news um other things that are going on is the national association of realtors put out the other day that closings uh transactions we are at about 85 and a half percent compared to where we were this time last year which Actually, I think that's really good news because if you think of all the negative press of what's going on, everything that you hear, you know, inflation, um, you know, just just all the kind of negativity that's going on that you, you read, that's all in front of your face every single day. We're at 85 percent of what we were doing last year when last year was like a big boom year. So I think that is really good news. Um, you know, going forward, it's just going to keep, if we, if we stay on this pace, I think it's, it's going to be a little bit, you know, more healthier for the market, which we've been talking about is what we've, we're, what the Fed's doing, raising the rate to kind of combat inflation and, and making the normal, uh, making the mar market more normalized. Um, we also got the news last week, uh, the GDP numbers of that we are in, uh, two, consecutive negative quarters or negative numbers uh two quarters in a row which is the agreed upon definition of a recession i don't think that should scare anybody um since i, I went back and did some research and since they tracked economic stats you know for the last 160 years the united states has had 34 recessions and that's an average of once every five years, okay? So these this is part of the normal cyclical economic cycle. Um, but we haven't really had one since 12 years. So we've been, we've been on a pretty, a pretty decent run for a very, very long time of not having a recession. I'm putting it in finger quotes, recession. Two negative quarters of GDP growth. And what's interesting is historically not all recessions affected real estate you know crazy you know i'm sure there was some sort of um byproduct you know if a recession you know people losing jobs or things like that obviously that affects real estate you know people's ability to pay or people's you know ability to buy homes but 12 years ago the last recession actually was caused by real estate real estate was the catalyst if you guys remember what caused, you know, the big crash in 2008 was that they were giving these mortgages out, um, you know, to to very low qualified people. And there was a lot of subprime lending and things like that. And that's actually what caused the last recession. So in this scenario, it's not real estate that has caused uh, the recession here. It's um, a lot of other factors, you know, inflation, things like that. So uh, I, I don't really see a, a huge negative downturn. Uh, I don't see prices going to be crashing. I don't see things going to be falling. It's it's just a continued slowed, um, more normalized market. So we're headed in the right direction. So as, as much as you see about negativity and, and a lot of negative press, you know, and the headlines every single day, real estate rise, I think we're headed in the right direction. We're headed to a more normalized market. And that's what we need for a healthy real estate market. You know, we, we can't have, I've been saying this, you know, in a lot of my videos, we can't have the 15, 20% increases every year. That's just not normal. It's not healthy. So uh, we're headed in the right direction. I'm super, you know, uh, confident that nothing's going to crash because obviously at the end of the day, it's a supply and demand market and um, there's still low supply and, and lots of demand um, figured to be figuratively speaking. So that's all I got for you today. We've had some 
negative news or not, I guess, not positive news the last couple of weeks, but things are kind of just chugging along and, um, you know, real estate. Uh, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it right now at this point. And actually, another point that I forgot is that rates actually fell last week. Real estate interest rates actually went down last week um, from what I read online. So, um, yeah, I mean, things are things are still good. Things are still good for buyers. Things are still good for sellers. Um you know, and we're headed in the right direction. So that's all I got for you this week. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Until next time, see ya.